Since its release, there has been a ton of discussion about whether or not Google has done enough in supporting the Pixel Fold. Should we be expecting the Pixel 8 features like Magic Editor, where is Circle to Search? Things that I think are definitely appropriate to knock Google on, even if it's just for their lack of communication. But today in this video, we're going to look into the perhaps not so distant future at Android 15 because there is a developer preview going on right now. We just got developer preview number two. And in this developer preview number two, we have a couple of fairly significant new Pixel Fold features to talk about. Now, both of these were reported by Michelle Rahman, one on Android Police and one on Android Authority. And the first one is something I actually told you guys about a long time ago, several weeks ago, I think I might have actually beat Michelle <laughs> to, to publication on this one, but here it is, it's, it's back around again. So what we're talking about here is a big change to the way that this device handles moving from the inner tablet screen to the cover display. Currently on the Pixel Fold, it will just lock the device. So right now I am unlocked and if I close it, it is now locked. Now, if I'm playing a video, some sort of multimedia, what will happen is it will automatically continue over to the other screen. So I'm playing a video there. When I close it, it will just automatically continue. And there we go. Now, other devices like the OnePlus Open do this in a very different way. Here is my Open here, and we'll just go ahead and jump into any application. And when I close it, you have the option to swipe up to continue. So nothing's done automatically. You are deciding in the moment, do I want it to lock or continue? If you just close it and put it in your pocket, it's locked. But you can always swipe up and continue. And that is exactly what we're going to be getting on the Pixel Fold. They have a screenshot of this. Again, this is apparently active now in the developer preview number two continue using apps on Fold. You can set it to always, never, or swipe up to continue. Most interestingly to me is the fact that the current behavior appears to be just going away outright. You're going to be, these are your options. So the in intelligent version it's doing now where it's trying to determine, hey, that's media, let's keep it playing. That's going away and I'm totally fine with that. Swipe up to continue is the right way to do this and I am 100% in favor of them just lifting this directly from OnePlus slash Oppo as they appear to be doing here. Now on this article, they also have a video of this in action and you can see when they close the device, they just get their lock screen and I'm assuming there's some, some very small text down there that tells them to swipe up to continue. They swipe up and they have continued. So you can see it in action there. Nothing too shocking. It's exactly like it is on the OnePlus Open. Well, not exactly like it is, but it's very, very similar to how it is on the OnePlus Open where you get mostly a black screen and then the uh, little pop up there, you're getting your lock screen there. Very minor differences, but in practice, I think this is a really good change, but that's not all. We have another really good big change and something that we've talked about in prior videos. We've seen it in the betas, kind of buried away, not active. It is now active. It is here. It is a thing in this developer preview. You can bring back the old taskbar. Now, what do we mean by old taskbar? We mean a taskbar that isn't transient. You can now pin your taskbar. Currently on the Pixel Fold, the only way to have a pinned taskbar is to also use the three button navigation. You can have gesture control on and have the pinned taskbar. As you can see here in this video, swipes up, there's the transient taskbar, and there is a pop-up to always show taskbar, and it is now pinned down to the bottom. That is great. I'm so happy to see that. Now, since I'm not running this developer preview, I can't show you exactly what this is going to look like, but I can get pretty close with what's on the Pixel Fold now. Let's jump into our settings. We go into system, and I believe, yes, navigation modes, so gesture and three button. Currently, with the way it is being transient, you get the entire screen at your disposal, and this little taskbar pops up, and whenever you use it, it goes away and it doesn't take up any space at all. And for most people, it's probably going to be the right way to go about this. But for people like myself that do a ton of multitasking, having it persistently be there 
might be really nice. Like I said, you can have this with three button navigation. And you can see how much of the information you're losing on the screen in order to have this. It's about that much space there. I'm scrolled all the way down so you can see. I can't quite see the title of that section. If I go back to this, now I can see the title of that section. I've gained that space back. So you are losing a little bit by doing this, but think about how much quicker your multitasking would be if you're able to just always have it there. That's one less action that you need to take in order to get into your multitasking. So that's definitely something that is worth thinking about. And I gotta tell you guys, if I can have that there and still have my gestures, that might be the way that I end up going. Now, of course, I can hear all of you asking, when will I have these features on my Pixel Fold? Well, luckily, you are talking about a Pixel device, which means when Android 15 is live, you'll be pretty much the first to be getting it. That's a great benefit of being a Pixel user. When will that be? Probably August, September, October, somewhere in that general ballpark. We got Android 14 in early October, so somewhere in that general area. We are likely six or seven months away at this point. Of course, you could always install the developer preview. I wouldn't recommend it. I'm fighting the urge to do it myself, but there are going to be bugs aplenty there. This is for developers to test their apps. It's not really for us to daily drive, but it. I mean, it's an option, I just wouldn't recommend it. Personally, I love seeing this stuff because it is indicative that work is continuing on these foldable devices. And keep in mind, it's not just for the Pixel Fold necessarily. A lot of the stuff is just being built into Android and therefore other OEMs will be able to take advantage of this as well. And of course, there is a Pixel Fold 2 that is coming shortly as well. And of course, these things will apply to it also. Does this mean that Google is in fact supporting the Pixel Fold? Well, they haven't abandoned it. Well, I think they definitely haven't abandoned it. Whether or not they have supported it well enough is a subjective question and it's something you have to answer. If you want to hear my thoughts on that, I'll drop a link to that video in the description down below. I will also drop links to both of these articles. Click them, read them. I left out a whole bunch of stuff from both of them intentionally, so you can go read those articles and give them a click. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.